three falsehoods that could cost you your soul. Recognize false religions by their teaching. Paul, an apostle of Jesus, chided the Christians at Corinth. If someone comes and proclaims another Jesus, than the one we proclaimed, or if you receive a different spirit from the one you received, or if you accept a different gospel from the one you accepted, you put up with it readily enough. Paul then warned them that false apostles were at work. Such men are false apostles, deceitful workmen, disguising themselves as apostles of Christ. And no wonder, for even Satan disguises himself as an angel of light. So it is no surprise if his servants also disguise themselves as servants of righteousness. Their end will correspond to their deeds. Jesus too had warned his disciples, Beware of false prophets, who come to you in sheep's clothing but inwardly are ravenous wolves. You will recognize them by their fruits. These three falsehoods could cost you your soul. Because they refused to love the truth and so be saved, God sends them a strong delusion, so that they may believe what is false, in order that all may be condemned who did not believe the truth. Falsehood number one. Another Jesus than the one we proclaimed. Here are eight Bible teachings about the true Jesus. He was born to a virgin, the sinless Son of God. He is the Messiah of Israel and the Savior of the world. He was able to heal the sick and to raise the dead. He was crucified because of our sins and was entombed. Three days later he returned to life and appeared to many witnesses. Jesus now intercedes with God in heaven in our behalf. He forgives us our sins and grants eternal life to all who trust in him. He will one day return to earth as king over all nations. Every false religion, however, presents another Jesus. Some say he was a great master amongst many, or a prophet like all the others, a former human exalted to minor god status, a rabbi mistaken for the Messiah by zealous disciples, a megalomaniac who deceived many and perished a religious fraud perpetuated by Christianity. Others make him out to be an angel or spirit who seemed to be a man, or a man in whom the spirit of the gods dwelt for a short time. Falsehood number two. A different spirit from the one you received. The true Holy Spirit is the one whom Jesus promised to send to his followers. He is the Spirit whom all receive when they are baptized. The Spirit gives to us love, joy, peace, patience, and self-control. He distributes to each believer an ability to speak or to serve others. He works miracles amongst followers of Jesus. He bears witness with our spirit that we are children of God. Possessing the Holy Spirit seals us for eternal life. He is the Spirit who enlightens all who teach and testify for Jesus. False religions, however, offer other spirits those that deny that Jesus Christ is the only Son of God, spirits that knock folk to the floor in the presence of charlatans, spirits that cause noise, 
screams, and false languages in religious gatherings that inspire preachers to spread religious lies that replace the Holy Bible with another so-called holy book. False spirits can give momentary sensations without a change of character. They tempt humans to commit immoral acts, and they counterfeit miracles which do not last. Falsehood number three, a different gospel from the one you accepted. Here is the true gospel in eight points. There is a God who rules over heaven and earth. God loves humans and wants them to live with him forever. God sent Jesus into the world to show the only way to God. Jesus died as a sacrifice to God who will forgive all who trust him. Jesus returned from death to life to give us eternal life. We can pray to God in Jesus' name to do many miracles. Jesus will one day return to earth and raise us back to life. We will then rule with Jesus over the whole world forever. False religions, however, replace the biblical gospel with other kinds of teachings, such as, you must obey all of God's laws to gain entrance into heaven, or you must join a certain religion in order to find God. There are many ways to God besides faith in Jesus. God will sovereignly admit into paradise those whom he chooses. Jesus did not rise from death, so do not trust in him. Some religions offer priests and intercessors who will get you into heaven. God does not punish sin, so there is no need of a savior. Meditation and mystical arts remain all that you need. Conclusion There is one God and there is one mediator between God and men, the man Christ Jesus, who gave himself as a ransom for all. Repent and be baptized, every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit, 